Hello, this is Nathan Crutchfield, and I'd like to talk with you briefly about job hazard analysis and how it benefits the American National Standards Institute Z10-2005 Occupational Health and Safety Management Systems process. The Z10 process is a cycle of continual improvement. It begins with the establishment of policy, planning, implementation and operation, checking and corrective action, and management review. It's a plan, do, check, act cycle. If properly implemented, it's hoped that it would reduce hazards, risk, loss producing incidents, workers' compensation costs, and lost time. At the same time, it would improve employee knowledge of health and safety, productivity, satisfaction of employees and personnel with the organization and the overall image of the organization. The job hazard analysis sits within many of the elements of the Z10. At the top here, you'll note we have the management leadership drives the responsibility and authority of the 21 elements, establishes a management review process, and designates and forms the, and develops the occupational health and safety management systems policy. Fed into this loop from the JHA process are many of the elements of the Z10. As example, a good job hazard analysis process aids in improving audits. It can, I'm going to jump around a little bit. It can aid in improving communications about the safety program, the risk and hazards and their control, improvement of training programs, emergency preparedness programs, uh, procurement of tools, equipment, materials necessary to do the job safely, the design review, what are we doing and how are we doing it, uh, objectives and uh, implementation plans as we move forward and we know what we're doing through a definite analysis of the task and jobs, uh, the initial ongoing reviews, the setting of priorities based on the impact of the job hazard analysis and getting employees involved in participating in the safety program to a higher degree as they are involved in the job hazard analysis. For additional information, join us at myjobhazardanalysis.com. Materials and discussions for this blog and many of the writings for the blog are based on job hazard analysis, a guide for voluntary compliance and beyond written by James Routon, co-authored with Nathan Crutchfield and published by Butterworth Heinemann in 2008. I look forward to discussing additional job hazard analysis techniques, methods, and concepts in the future.